May 28, Thursday of the seventh week of Easter, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, I pray not only for this, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me and I in you that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me, and I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one, as we are one, I in them, and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me, and that you love them even as you loved me. Father, they are your gift to me, I wish that where I am, they also may be with me, that they may see my glory that you gave me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known that the love with which you loved me may be in them, and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord That they may be one as we are one. Jesus prays for unity among all believers, just there is unity between Him and the Father. His prayer that they may be one, ut unum sint, is a call for Christian unity as a condition for the world to believe. The communion among all Christians is the greatest act of witnessing to the non-Christians. That love and charity is the foundation of Trinitarian love. The unity of all divided humanity is the will of God. For this reason, He sent His Son, so that by dying and rising for us, He might bestow on us the spirit of love. To believe in Christ means to desire unity. To desire unity means to desire the church. To desire the church means to desire the communion of grace which corresponds to the Father's plan from all eternity. This is the meaning of Christ's prayer that they may be one.